If you're looking for a party this Saturday night, we're bringing you one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports with two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. Well, after the super team, some current top teams have been constructed more traditionally. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, great teams are built different ways. But when you can watch these players grow up and develop together, it's a wonderful thing to see. Brian? A little more meaningful building from the ground up, Allie. Thank you. Well, Grant, it's still early in the season, but when you're on a team, do you have a good sense of where you stand in the league at this point? Well, it's hard to say. The year is just getting started. You just never know about injuries, trades, chemistry, how it all comes together. So I think most players aren't too concerned with the standings just yet. And the starting group for the Celtics. Horford and Williams together in the front court. Brown and Tatum with the explosive wing pair. And it's the Cobra in a point guard. And for the Pistons. It's Cunningham and Ivy at the one and the two. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Isaiah Stewart. And it's Wiseman in at the center position, filling out the middle. And it's the Pistons to start out. Cunningham outside. Fires the three. Hauled in by Brown. Here's the Cobra. He's watched by Cunningham. They get it back to the paint. Here's the Cobra. What a tremendous game he played against Denver. Just four to shoot. Pass to Tatum from behind the arc. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Tatum doesn't need a whole lot of space. Many look from three and you're in trouble. Cunningham, right side. Tatum pulls it in. Here's the Cobra. He's watched by Cunningham. Outside, Brown. Another miss by Brown. And here's Detroit. It's a three-point game. Bogdanovich passes to Wiseman. Cunningham outside. Let's a floater go. No good on the shot. Nice D from Horford. The Celtics have gone one for three so far. Tatum drives in. Pass to the Cobra. Takes a three. Tatum against Stewart. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That's on Isaiah Stewart. Boy, the evolution and growth of Jason Tatum has been fun to watch. He's committed to improving. He wants nightly responsibility, and he's got such a high ceiling. And so Tatum nails both of them. What has to excite you about Jason Tatum is how consistently he puts work in to perfecting his craft. His idol is Kobe Bryant. He is a guy that wants to continue and will work to get better. Next up, second chance shot. Stewart, no good. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. And here's Brown for three. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. And maybe they're a little too excited today. They need to settle down. They've opened up one for four. Doris Tatum has already accomplished so much early on in his career. Yeah, but you get the sense this guy is nowhere near finished. Jason Tatum is a guy who wants to be seen as an all-time great when his career is said and done. He is someone you can count on to give you everything he's got. Here's the Cobra. He's averaging 35 and a half a game. Excellent production. Knocks it down from distance. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Stewart. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. 
Here's Ivy. Easy jumper from very short distance. Just finding room to go to work inside. Ivy really relies on his physical abilities to get a close range shot. Beyond the arc. The can't hit. Detroit is going one or two. Three points left so far. To the middle. And finished off by Stewart. Extra sauce on it, Grant. Williams. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Huge putback. This guy plays with so much energy. I don't know anybody that goes after the boards harder. Cunningham passes to Stewart. And he's going for the oop here. And an emphatic jam on the lob. And I'll tell you what, that's what being unselfish is all about. in the game. The Pistons trailer. Now Cunningham. His scoring ability is impressive. Averaging 20 a game. Stewart finds Bogdanovich. Shot clock at five. Screen by Wiseman. There's Cunningham with a three. The rebound. Celtics. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. The Cobra can't hit. I love how they first got the boards here in the first quarter. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. The Celtics have gotten five of 11 shots to go. Horford outside, plenty of space. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. And I'm just impressed with their effort here early. They've hit the offensive glass so hard. The Pistons have gone four of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. Pass to Ivy. Back to Cunningham. And he lobs it up. Easy to see why Ivy's guys lob it his way. He's fantastic at capping off alley-oops. For Boston, they've gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Here's the Cobra. He's watched by Cunningham. Tatum can't hit. Detroit has gone 1 for 3 from beyond the arc. Here's Cunningham. Softly drops in the floater. Cunningham's got five now. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And he's able to get it back. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Duran, he's checked in for the Pistons. Pass to Ivy. Over to the left wing. Cunningham outside. There's the three. Cunningham can't get that one to fall. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. And here's Detroit. Trailing by five. And here's Stewart. Here's Duran. Williams defending. Six on the shot clock. Here's Ivy, defended by Brown. Ivy's shot is off. 
Boston has gone four of nine from beyond the three-point line in this first quarter. You have to think with this Pistons squad that all eyes are on the future as opposed to the here and now. Young guys focused on reaching their potential. Here's Ivy. Now here's Cunningham. Down low. Here's Stewart. And finished off by Stewart. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Boston calls timeout. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink. Especially... And Detroit, his shooting has been good. 54% on this one. So where do you see the ceiling for this younger Pistons team as they continue to grow? You know, yeah, it's always difficult to predict the limits of a team. But as long as they continue to steadily develop, they could become a unit with playoff potential. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Horford and Williams together in the front court. And it's the Cobra in at the point guard position. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Allie, thanks. And that one's good. Weisman. Coach is loving the ball movement. Boston's gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Pass to Brown. Here's the Cobra. Oh, and that shot misses everything. Air ball on the three. And here's Detroit. They'll be hosting Toronto for their next one. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Bogdanovich, that's good. Yeah, Boyan Bogdanovich, a very confident basketball player. He knows very well he has the green light to take these shots. The Pistons leading. Pass to Ivy. Back to Cunningham. Looking to get back on track. That shot, no good. Brown with some nice D. Here's the Cobra. He's watched by Cunningham. The Cobra. Oh, a special move before that shot. He's got 14. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And every team has him. Those games where you just don't have it. Why does that happen, Grant? Well, B, I think, first of all, 82 games. It's a grind of a season. You factor in traveling, injuries, players out for different reasons. You're going to have moments like this where it just doesn't happen. You know what you do? You learn from it, you move on, and you get ready for the next night. And the Celtics making a change here. White's checked in. First personal foul. Team second. To the inside. White with the steal. You tried to thread it inside, but just too much congestion. Out to the right wing. Here's the Cobra. He's watched by Cunningham. Pass to the Cobra. Just five on the clock. Detroit with a rebound. Wiseman's got his fourth rebound in this one. White with the steal. And he lobs it up to the rim. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Here's Duran. Here's Ivy. From 20 feet. Good. He hits the jumper. Ivy's got six. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. They set the screen. White, the pass to Williams. To the wing on the left. Shot clock at six. Here's the Cobra. Misses off the right iron. The Pistons have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Just 
under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Ivy. He's guarded by White. Back to Cunningham. From outside, off the mark. He struggles shooting the rock, yet they're still winning. It's a good thing his teammates have played well. Here's the Cobra. Boston again missing. Detroit has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to Cunningham. Over to the wing. Here's Ivy. It's not going to go for him. And Boston going the other way now. When you analyze the skill set of a guy like Derek White, here's a combo guard who can fill so many gaps and do so many things well. What I love most is how hard he plays on both ends of the floor. White for three. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got six rebounds now in the game. And here's Ivy from the arc. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got rebound number seven tonight. And the versatility White provides for this team is so important, Doris. It is, B.A. He fills gaps. He can score it, board it, pass it, and he can defend with purpose. A guard that can help orchestrate the offense or, if need be, get off the ball. These multi-positional guards are critical to success. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Here's Cunningham. Ooh, rejected by Horford. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. First free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's the Cobra. 16 points for him. The three is up. The Pistons clear it. Here's Ivy. Six points for him. Pass to Wiseman. Horford with the block. They recover it. Good on the bucket. Cunningham's got seven points in the game. Austin trailing. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's the Cobra. He's watched by Cunningham. No coverage that time. He's got 19. He's been dropping them in from downtown since the tip. Three triples in the first quarter. Two more since. Williams against Wiseman. And here's Cunningham outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. Brown's got a rebound number five here tonight. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Cunningham with the ball. He has seven. Outside Bogdanovich. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Jalen Brown picks one up. I am never sure that Boyan Bogdanovich gets credit for being an elite basketball player, especially when it comes to his scoring ability. And Bogdanovich does it. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Pistons on top. They lead by four. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. All right, thanks so much. I'm here with Dwayne Casey. Coach, are you pleased with the aggression getting downhill? Well, it's one thing we have to do. We have to play with some force, get to the basket, get to the paint. Our paint numbers off the charts once we get the ball in the paint. And I thought like our guys did it tonight. I hope they can stay in attack mode. Thank you, Coach. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. And Shaq, using your crystal ball, how do you see these upcoming games playing out? Ernie, I'm not sharing anything I see in my crystal ball with you. No way. You either, Kenny. Listen, if you really have a crystal ball, why don't you just look into the future and give me those lotto numbers, man? I want a mega yacht. Don't worry, Kenny. One day I'll let you into USSS Shaq, my yacht. One day. You keep saying that. And as we review this first half for the Celtics, still anybody's game. 
Listen, they need better looks. Under 40% shooting, not going to cut it. You got to work the ball inside. I promise you, if you work that ball inside, good things will happen. Shaq, we can count on you to always suggest working the ball down low. Uh, because I know it works, Ernie. If you look at the left hand, you see unos, dos, tres, cuatro rings. See that? Bling, bling. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. And for the Celtics, they're shooting just 37% so far in this one. It's Cunningham and Ivy at the one and the two. Isaiah Stewart out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's Wiseman in at the five. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. The Cobra can't hit. They swipe it. Inside. Jacks up a three. Gets the three to fall. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after oh, night. Oh, wow! Did he just do that? With authority! Wow! Extremely competitive game thus far. Yeah, six lead changes in total. I expect there to be more to come. The Pistons trailing. Pass to Stewart. Now here's Bogdanovich. Now here's Wiseman. Williams defending. Cunningham outside. Just five to shoot. Sinks the tray. Cunningham's got ten. Well, that's a case where your teammates are showing trust in you, and he comes through with flying colors. Pass to Brown. The three. And Tatum, the bucket on the assist from Brown. Brown's got his third assist of the night. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. An easy two on the layup. And it's a three-point Boston lead. 80% shooting to start the third. Four for five. Hook loose. Here's the Cobra. Takes it inside. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Now here's Cunningham. He's closely guarded. Pass to Stewart. Here's Ivy. Six points for him. Pocket four. With the floater. Nice D from Horford. Boston has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. And here's Brown. Here's the Cobra. He's got 31. And the officials call a traveling violation. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Wiseman. Now here's Cunningham. Can they get it? Driving to the basket. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? Oh, ho, ho. There is an imagination of creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Pass to Bogdanovich. Nice D from Tatum. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. To the inside, Horford finds Williams. <laughs> First one falls for him. 
At the line for the Celtics, William Robert Wee. At the line for two. And Williams drops them both. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Another steal. Here we go, all alone. And he's going for the lob. And the lob disrupted, not to be. Here's Ivy. He has six. Pass to Stewart. Cunningham outside. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Yeah, it just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. The Cobra can't hit. For Detroit, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Lays it in off the pretty lob. Saw his teammate with a path to the rim, and boom, lobbed it up there beautifully. Very smooth catch and finish. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up, an opportunity at a three-point play. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up with that confidence. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. And here's Cunningham. He's got 12. Now Bogdanovich shoots over Tatum. And again, it's Detroit converting. Well, that's Bogdanovich making great use of the pick and roll. Fantastic at exploiting whatever the defense delivers to him. Screen by Horford. Brown passes to Horford. The rebound by Stewart. Unbelievable. He blew that. Look, guys. No clue what went wrong there. Bogdanovich from long range. And James Wiseman gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. The Celtics with the lead. Tatum passes to Horford. Back to Tatum. Screen by Horford. Tatum finds Horford. Here's the Cobra. Good, and it's Horford who picks up the assist. Horford's got three assists now in this one. You know, I've got to say, defensively, the effort simply hasn't been there this half. They've got to pick up their energy. Here's the Cobra. And the shot goes down. And it's an 11-point Celtic lead. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Knocks it loose. Pass to Ivy. This one for three. Rebound Boston. And at home for the next one, it'll be Oklahoma City pulling in. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. And Williams punches it home. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Cunningham passes to Stewart. Bogdanovich on the wing. Over Tatum. Bogdanovich, no good. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Horford for three. They get it back. Great positioning on the putback. Hey, it's what every youth coach says. Follow your shot. This is why you do it, for those easy putbacks. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Detroit calls timeout. Duran, he's checked in for Stewart. Diallo comes in for Bogdanovich. And...
Boston's shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. On the court right now for the Celtics. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Tatum at four, while Williams patrols the middle. And it's the Cobra in at the one. One of the things you love about Jason Tatum, he's cooking right now. He's putting it to the defense, but by his emotions, it would never be betrayed. Here's Cunningham. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And he gets it back. And he's easily led away on the boards tonight. He's competed for every missed shot. Feels like he's quicker to the basketball than anyone else out there. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. Boy, just sheer dominance, the ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot, lead your teammate perfectly. Here's the Cobra. Off the mark there with a three. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Cunningham on the wing. Here's the three, and the three-pointer goes. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. Here's the Cobra. Pass to Tatum. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Cade Cunningham picks that one up. The best offensive players in the league get to the free throw line consistently. This is where you're starting to see growth from Jason Tatum. Wanting the contact, inviting the contact. He makes one or two that time. And they'll get another chance. Goes back up. The Cobra can't hit. The Pistons have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Pass to Bogdanovich. That falls. Nice feed that time from Cunningham. Cunningham's got assist number seven tonight. Here's the Cobra. It's good from the top of the key. And he's got 41 now. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Pass to Ivy. Stewart with it. Here's Bogdanovich from the arc. Registering three threes in the first half, he hasn't hit one since. You have to put a body on Duran. He's quick, he's athletic, and he has that 7-5 wingspan. And here's Brogdon. Pass to the Cobra. Cunningham brings a double. Now here's Tatum. Puts up a three. Rebound Detroit. Duran's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Cunningham. Guard it closely. Can't hit it from 12 feet. The Celtics have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Shots good by the Cobra. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. He keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. And the Pistons call time here. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. Wow, did this game really turn out to be his show? A commanding performance like that makes for a sweet victory, especially on the road. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. During that break, Coach Dwayne Casey had some advice for his team. He let his guys know that he needs more from them to close this deficit. He said, quote, we have to get something started. I know we're behind, but you are capable of taking this game if you still want it. Allie, thank you. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Pass to Ivy. Here's Duran. And out of bounds. The Celtics will take it. Ball. 
And so it's Boston with it. They led by as many as 18. Oh, there's the alley. And Williams punches it home. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Got a piece of it. Last break. Here come the Celtics. Here's the couple. Oh, no! my goodness. Woo! Yikes. What a finish. You know, he's flat fueling their success. Most of the offense has gone through him. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Pass to Duran. Here's Ivy. It falls. Five for 11 in the game. Okay, usually Duran is more of a finisher, but being selfless with the ball is a good thing for him in the long run. Now Tatum. Outside Brogdon. And here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Stewart, a screen on Brown. Here's Bogdanovich. Here's Stewart. And no good. Nice D from Tatum. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. And Williams punches it home. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. The Pistons have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Here's Cunningham. Boston with a rebound. Williams has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. Great scorers need easy opportunities to pile up those points. Tatum above the rim and the nice finish. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Cunningham with the ball. Now guarded by Brogdon. The offensive rebound. Pass to Cunningham. And he banks in the layup. The way they've hit the offensive boards in the second half, you would think they're the team that's leading. Here's the Cobra. And he dunks it down. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Detroit has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. Back to Cunningham. Grant, you look at the playoffs last year. I mean, a lot of big-name stars struggled to deliver. Is that every year, or do you think that was an anomaly? I, you know, B.A., I think that was a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I, I, I think you think what's happened in the league in the last few years with the bubble and then the restart last season. There's been a lot of basketball played, and I think it's impacted a lot of players. So I think moving forward, we'll get back to a level of normalcy with the rest and recovery of the offseason, and big-name stars will continue to excel and thrive in the years to come. Uh, Bogdanovich staying confident down low, being physical with the defense and gets rewarded with a trip to the foul line. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. And so he makes both from the line. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Tatum. Pass to the Cobra. Horford outside. And here's Brown for three. Duran with a rebound. Duran's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. Boston again missing. Piston shooting right around 40% since the beginning of the fourth quarter. I got him. Here's Ivy, defended by Brown. Hey, Cunningham, right side. Five on the clock. Bogdanovich with it. Guarded now by Williams. Bogdanovich, no good. Well, the Celtics shooting around 50% in the game so far. Pass to the Cobra. Out to the right wing. Well, in December of the 21-22 season, the NBA set a record for most players used in a season. Doris, what'd you learn from seeing so many new guys? I think the exciting part of that 
Brian, is the fact that the G League is now an integral part of each organization. You have the opportunity to bring guys up and down between that lower level and the NBA. It affords guys who maybe are getting spotty time in the NBA level to continue to enhance their skill. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Now here's Cunningham. He's guarded closely from outside the arc. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his 16th rebound on the night. Pass to the Cobra. Shot from 16. That went off the back iron and out. Detroit has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Here's Duran. Cunningham outside. Now Stewart. Bogdanovich on the wing. Let's it go from 11. The shot no good. And it's Boston the other way. Here's the Cobra. Pass to Brown. Tatum against Cunningham. Williams a screen on Cunningham. Tatum passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. How about Jason Tatum with a little pocket pass and the pick and roll? That's nice. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. There's Cunningham with a three. Boston with a rebound. Here's the Cobra. And he drives in. Boston foul. Number four. Third personal foul. And that one falls for Bogdanovich. Doris, in the NBA, more attention is being paid to mental health more than ever before. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Malcolm, there's no question you won this game defensively. What were the aspects that enabled you to contain them so well? Man, just being locked in, man. Every possession. We didn't take any possessions off. Um, everybody guarded their lane and, and were there on the help side. You have to be mentally exhausted. Thanks, Malcolm. Allie, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time. Station.